Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to prove the alternate segment theorem. So what is the alternate segment theorem? That is the angle over here, we'll call it x, that is the angle that lies between a tangent and a chord, so that is this chord over here, is equal to the angle subtended by the same chord in the alternate segment. So that is this angle over here. Okay, this angle over here is equal to this angle and I'm going to be showing you why in this video. Okay, so let's create this proof here to the right. We are first going to start off by creating three radiuses that extend out of the center of this circle over here. Okay, so that's going to be a radius over here. This is going to be a radius over here. And this is going to be a radius over here. And these radiuses lie within a triangle inside the circle, right? And on the outer edge, we have that tangent that is right over here at the bottom. Using this diagram over here, we're going to prove the alternate segment theorem. Okay, so this over here is going to be a radius. This over here is going to be a radius. And this over here is also going to be a radius. We are going to call this angle over here okay x and from here we're going to show that this angle up here just like in the diagram to the left is also equal to x okay if this angle over here is equal to x then this angle right over here is going to be pi over 2 minus x okay now this triangle to the right is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, this angle over here is also going to be pi over 2 minus x. Now to find this angle over here, which is required for our proof, we have to subtract these two angles over here from pi which is the same as 180 degrees. That is because we're dealing with a triangle. Now you may be asking, why is this angle here, pi over two minus x? That is because pi over two is 90 degrees and we have a tangent to this circle over here. So this line over here in red, which is the radius, is perpendicular to this black line over here. So to the right over here, we have 90 degrees. So if we subtract x from that, we have the angle pi over two minus x. Okay, now let's figure out what this angle over here is. That is going to be pi minus these two angles over here. Okay, so that's minus 2 times pi over 2 minus x. What's that going to give us? Well, it's the same as pi minus 2 times pi over 2 plus 2x. Okay, now minus 2 times pi over 2 is the same as minus pi. So we get pi minus pi plus 2x. And pi minus pi is equal to 0. So we're left with 2x. This angle over here is going to be 2x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show that this angle here, which we'll call y, and this angle here, which we'll call z, when we add them together, 
we get half of this angle over here, which is x. Now, because this triangle over here to the left is an isosceles triangle, and this length is r, and this length is r, then this angle over here is also going to be called y. Now, if this angle is y, and this angle over here is y, then this angle over here has to be pi minus 2y. Now, this triangle up here is quite similar. If this angle here to the left is z, then this angle over here also has to be z. And if that's the case, then this angle over here is pi minus 2z. Now, if we add up all these angles over here and make it equal to 2 pi, which is 360 degrees, we can find the relationship between x and y and z. Okay, so 2x plus pi minus 2y plus pi minus 2z is equal to 360 degrees, which is the same as 2 pi. Now, what we're going to do is subtract 2 pi from both sides of this equation. Okay, so here we've got 2 pi, and on the right we have 2 pi, and we're going to subtract them from both sides of the equation. So these cancel out, and this disappears, and we get 2x minus 2y minus 2z is equal to 0. Now from here, we add 2y and 2z to both sides of the equation. So we get 2x is equal to 2y plus 2z. Now we factorize. That means that 2x is 2 times y plus z. Finally, we divide both sides of this equation by 2. Okay, 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So we show that x is equal to y plus z. As we can see here, at the top, we've got y plus z, but y plus z is equal to x. So we've shown that this angle up here is equal to this angle over here, like in this diagram over here, and that is the alternate segment theorem. Once again, just to recap, the alternate segment theorem is the angle that lies between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle subtended by the same chord in the alternate segment. If you have any questions related to this video, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. For more mathematics proofs, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And for extra maths content, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Thanks for watching this video, and see you next time.